Hey guys, what's up? Barney Boy here again, and today we are going to be looking at how to pat test a kettle. As always, please hit that subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on any future videos I do. Um, ring that bell and please do like this video as well. Also, put any comments in if you've got any questions or you want to do anything in particular, uh, and I will make sure I do that. So firstly, uh, we're gonna get the pat tester. You wanna put the battery in the pat tester, I've already done that. Uh, screw the back in, and there you go. Uh, you don't tend to wanna keep your batteries in the pat tester when it's off for extended period of, periods of time, uh, and that's in case of any battery leakage or anything like that. Uh, but we'll go over the actual pat tester itself in another video of mine. But for this one, we're gonna look at how to pat test the kettle. So firstly, make sure it's turned off the wall. You wanna unplug it. And you've got two types of uh, plugs and leads and cables for pat testing products. This what hasn't been pat tested for over a year now. Uh, there we go, we can see it was pat tested on the 4th of the 1st, 2019. Uh, and it is now towards the end of 2020. And so this is actually nearly two years overdue. Now, uh, you've either got your class one or your class two plugs. Uh, this is a class one, uh, which means you have a, a neutral a live and an earthed cable, uh, your class two, which will be a square within a square, a symbol like that on the plug or on uh, say the kettle base plate itself, itself, there'll be a square within a square. I can't see that. And so we know this is a class one, so there is an earth cable. And we also know uh, that because it is a 13 amp, although you'll never take a sticker's words, but we can see on the plug here that also says 13 amp, that it is 700 watts plus. So what we want to do is firstly, with the kettle, understand that there are two components and it must be treated as one. So you've got the kettle base plate itself, uh, that's where the kettle connects, and also you have the lead and plug, and also you have the kettle jug. So the first thing you want to do is complete a visual inspection of both components, that being the kettle plate, making sure it's all in good order and looks okay, and also the cable, particularly at the connection points. So we can see here that looks all okay, and here as well, that looks fine, uh, and there's no breakages or anything like that on the cable. Now, the next thing we wanna look at is also the kettle jug. So making sure that looks okay, again, at the base where that connects in, there's no damage or anything obvious there. And obviously when you open here, where we've got the actual internal uh, element there, there's nothing obvious or any clear damage there. So that's my cat. Uh, we can let her up, here we go. Toby, hello. There we go. Uh, just make sure you keep any animals uh, away, but for now as you can tell, because we're not actually plugging anything in just yet. And after you're satisfied with the vision inspection, what you want to do is, I'll put the, I'll put the cat over here now, we've got room in the way is make sure there is no water in the kettle so this is empty okay put that on the plate itself we're not turning this on just yet we're going to plug that in and we're also going to get the the actual little jack here with the crocodile clip which we will uh, insert and connect on the inside of the kettle so we'll just plug that in there and then we'll take this clip and put that inside here connecting to the filament being sure to avoid any mineral buildup uh, because we don't want it to uh, not properly connect. Next thing we want to do once that's plugged in is turn on your pat tester, that being these two buttons here, just push those down. Okay, and we can see just before uh, we actually test it uh, that we've got the earth, earth count, insulation and leakage. So what we want to do is hold that kettle down as if we're going to put it on and hold it in place because otherwise it just may, it may slip back up on some kettle models but obviously this one just stays down. So I'll hop, push that down, class one appliance test complete and just give that a moment to complete the earth count which is past that. The insulation just wait on that, see what result comes back. That's a pass there. And then finally, we'll check that sub leak tick and we can see we've actually got a solid pass for the whole unit. So what we wanna do is go ahead, put a sticker on there, complete the details on there, complete the actual book itself as well. Uh, and then we can continue using that for, um, you don't really wanna leave it any longer than 12 months, say before you uh, would test another class one appliance. Maybe sooner if you'd rather do that, but I wouldn't leave it any later than 
12 months. Please subscribe, please like this video, please comment if you want anything else in particular, uh, and I'll make sure that I do that. But otherwise, I hope you found this video useful and you have enjoyed. Thanks a lot, guys.